Welcome to Engineering Scale Models, where the details live. It's a new year and a new project. And, you know, of course, I got the joke of the day calendar for Christmas. So here goes. Why is Cinderella so bad at soccer? Because she always runs away from the ball. Okay, all jokes aside, what is going on? We have a new year, new project, and a new style of filming. I have done some demo videos of how it was going to go around with the with the new style and the clips instead of doing one long section I'm gonna break it up into clips and try to show more things at one time I'm also gonna do slideshows like this this is the slideshow that was in my teaser trailer to see if you could guess what ship is going to be built as the new project I have a deal in the works to build some stuff for a guy um, so I'm going to be running three projects this year. I'm going to be breaking down my channel into seasons that run six months. So this is season one, episode one. It'll be labeled that in the title. It's a lot to do with organization of the files for me to get to them quicker in the editing software and edit it. So this is season one, episode one. This is a new start. We're going to do a whole new thing and we're going to run three projects two projects you already know of on the channel. I'm going to go to this camera. One is the LST. It is it is coming along. I think there's four videos on the channel plus the unboxing and the build plan. So and maybe even a quick look. So this is the LST. It's coming along. We're going to be building this in the background along with the North Carolina. The North Carolina progress is not as great as the LST but the LST is a smaller ship so here's the North Carolina it's from Trumpeter I've been building this uh, for a good part of last year um, I have a lot of things done on it I have some of the hull done I got wood decking for it I got some of the the 5 inch 38's built with the photo etch on. I'm using the Eddard photo etch kit with some upgrades from Affinity models. Um, like that door on top is from Alliance Model Works just to get the accuracy because uh, the plastic one on top wasn't cutting it. So and the barrels are from Master Models so I have 10 of these to build. I have this one and one that just needs barrels and then I have to build the rest. I'm working on that right now and then I'm going to go back to working on the hull of the ship. So, and my camera just cut out. So I'm going to go to the side view here. So that is the North Carolina. But what is the new ship? What is the third ship we're going to work on? And now, before I talk about the third ship, we're going to talk about tanks. Because I have tank projects going on. And I will work on them in my spare time and throw different videos up that I cut together. Because that's going to be the new style where I film a bunch of clips and cut them together. So I will have the, the tanks I will do occasionally when I'm a little burned out on ships. I'll build some tanks. But mostly it's going to be these three ships. And if you all guessed the winner of the... The con not the contest, but Alaska, the USS Alaska from Hobby Boss. It has a lot of uh, photo etch that comes with it. It comes with three sheets of photo etch, and I am also adding some Affinity upgrades. I don't think this is back on. I don't understand why this camera is not wanting to. Hold on guys, let me just see if I can get this camera. No, this camera doesn't want to connect anymore. Okay. We're going to have to do it on the side view. So, we have the Alaska gun barrels, we have the mast set, and we have the wooden deck. Plus, separately, I have 
all the AA guns in solid brass from a fitting model. So, and then I have some doors that I'm going to replace that aren't replaced on the kit with some either NR doors or Alliance model works or Affinity models, um, things like that. We're going to do a little kit bashing of some extra detail to get all the, all the detail on this looking real good. So this is going to be the main ship that is done. I'm going to be trying to get at least one or two videos a week of this build series with the other stuff built in the background. So... I hope that you guys are all pleased with what's getting built. I know I did some polls about some other ships, but this is a little bit uh, simpler to go into with adding details to ships is what I mainly want to focus on on the channel now is adding high-end details uh, beyond kits, like adding extra photo etch through kit bashing means and from extra photo etch I have lying around and speaking of extra photo etch lying around, I have gotten my binder here with, with my photo etch in it. It's not complete yet because I'm still organizing it, but I have all my photo etch in here that I can use for kit bashing. These are not complete kits. These are all extras from kits that are not being built or that were built and the details weren't used. And then there's extra things like this is a aircraft detail set from detail set from a Finney models, the radar set that's going to go on the Alaska. Then here's a whole set of just doors and more doors over here from Alliance Model Works. And just various bits and pieces. This is some um, Orlikins right here, 20 millimeter. And then these are my kits for my quad mount bulfers. I even have a twin mount in here for the Indiana, Indianapolis. Sorry, I can't believe I messed that up. Super famous ship. Got the name wrong. And then here is all different types of Orlikins. So we got some nice stuff here. And then this is all kit bashing material here. Just I got some really thin stuff, and then I got some thick, some nice thin rails. If I, you know, need some extra railing or, you know, just need a piece to look like something, then I have my what I need here for kit bashing. So, well, I am gonna get set up and show you what is in this Alaska box. I'm gonna show you the sprues. I'm going to show you the, the photo etch upgrades for it, and we will finish off this video. All right, guys, we'll be back. Now we're going to take a look. We're going to do a deep dive into this Alaska kit. This is the CB1. It is the Hobby Boss kit, and I will say I recorded this earlier and there was no sound, so I want to record it over again, and hopefully it's even better this time. So I'm just going to check to make sure you have their sound. Okay, so this is the Hobby Boss kit. It is um, a brand of Trumpeter. I don't know if they share. They're basically similar kits. This is kit number 86513. This is a, I would call it an upgraded version of a Trumpeter kit. Um, instruction manual looks pretty similar. You get four sheets of photo etch, three different sheets, and two of one. Uh, two of the same one. So this is the Alaska CB1. There was another one, CB2, the Guam. I believe they make a kit for that. It was um, a battle cruiser. It was the first of the battle cruiser ships. Went into service June 17th, 1944. It could go about 32 knots and about a high at about 15 knots. It could go 12,000 nautical miles. So didn't really see a lot of combat. Did a little bit of shore bombardments, but no ship to ship combat or anything to be remarkable and both of them uh, both the ships the Guam and the Alaska were were scrapped they were sent to mothballs and then they were scrapped a few a few years later so um, I just took the lid off just so I could get it off it's a little sticky and here is what I have in the kit box we are gonna we have upgrades for this we have a variety of upgrades plus some um, additional stuff that will be added 
in the form of some kit bashing with some scrap um, leftover PE and resin parts and brass parts that I have from my Pontos kits and some Edward kit, Edard kits and some other Infinity models and some Master models. Um, first I'm going to show you some of the upgrades and then I'm going to show you some of the sprue details. And I'm going to hope my overhead camera works and I need to move it this way a little bit. Sorry about that guys. So first up I have these two things right here. These are mission models. Remove that permanently. These are mission models. Um, they are the, the 5 inch 38 gun barrels, the Mark 12s. These are the ones that were on the Alaska as far as I know. So I got packs of those for the barrels because looking in this kit the detail on the 5 inch guns is I'm, I'm just I don't want to say incredible because people are going to criticize that but I think it's pretty good compared to spending a bunch of time adding PE and not getting the level of detail so I also um, have a set <coughs> excuse me of watertight doors for US Navy United States Navy um, I also have some others in my um, photo ed sheet some hatches and some things like that I like to replace the doors. I don't believe I have door replacements for this kit. So I got this to replace some of the doors on the superstructure and whatnot. Also, I have the wooden deck kit from Affinity Models. Um, it comes with um, PE um, and some brass parts. Um, nice wooden deck. So and then I have also from Affinity Model the brass mass set and the main barrels with blast bags so that is upgrade wise on on that and let's start looking at the kit it comes with a stand uh, standard stand there and it has a anchor chain looks like a copper colored anchor chain so that's inside the stand bag and then now this is what I want to show off first there are six of these sprues for the main guns. They have the main guns on one side, and then they have the, the other parts. And they have these guns right here on it. You can see the detail on these 5 inch 38s. It has all the hatch detail on the back. It doesn't look bad. It has rivet detail, bolt detail. It has tons of detail on the sides just needs a little bit of work to make it perfect but this is this has been the level of detail that I have tried to get on my North Carolina 5 inch 38s and I can show you what I mean this is the North Carolina one and as you can see I don't have any of the rear hatch detail that's missing that that kit has molded into it um, so I think those basically some of these side um, directors in some barrels and I think they are going to be good the way they are um, I'll look into it more on some scale and things like that but we also have the main gun barrels they are drilled out slide molded and things like that so and you do seems like you get six of these main guns but it only had three actual main guns but like I said you get six of these sprues you don't have enough to make six main guns it's just extra I guess I guess that's just the way they could save money in the molding process so they probably use these for other kits too and a lot of kits have those 5 inch 38s on it so, and then also we have our two firing directors here, two of these sprues, and some lifeboats, the screws, so nice little antenna parts, but a lot of that stuff is going get, to get replaced, looks like we got some radar arms and what not, nice, nice anchor detail, you can see that anchor detail there, that's pretty nice, so that is those two, there's two of those sprues 
then there's one of the tower structure here. Get some nice tower structure. So I'll swap over so you can get a size of the sprue. It's about one foot long, six inches wide. Close up view for the detail. So nice molding. The molding is very crisp on here, very few flash. Um, even on I mean, there's a parting line on this round part here. I don't know if that's going to zoom in on that. Yeah, that's hard to see. Yeah, you're not going to see that on camera, but there is a little one, but that should scrape off with no no, no problems whatsoever. And you expect that on round parts. It's just part of the molding process that we have another set of parts here. Parts for the side of the ship, miscellaneous things like that. Construction manual for later. Like I said, here's the other sets of the 5 inch 38 with the main gun turrets. So there's six of those sprues. Here is your nameplate and all this detail. So not bad. Nice molding, side molding, slide molding stuff. So like I said, a very well molded kit. I was, you know, I know Trumpeter has some issues and I don't know when this, when this kit was made. Um, the float planes, uh, float scout planes are all clear parts from Trumpeter. I believe these are the same exact sprues that come with the Kingfisher kit that you can buy separately. Um, the wooden deck is in two pieces. And I think their joining point is incredible. How there's very little area that would have to be filled if it needs to be filled at all. It joins very good. I mean, I have the wood decking, so I'm not 100% worried about it. But it, it, the detail's nice, and the way they designed it in two pieces is um, very nice. And I will show you the hull on this view. And you can see here that they fit. I mean, they don't need any cleanup hardly whatsoever. It's a nice fit in there, and it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna go together really well. I'm glad I ended up picking this kit for the kit for the new year for this new new style of video where I bit and piece it together. A little bit of work on the bottom, but. Overall, it's a it's it's a clean looking kit. It looks good. Nice size. It's gonna it's gonna fit on the bench very nicely. So, and then we have the PE here. We have these two here, and then we have a repeat of the one on the right, and railings on this one, and then some more railings and some pieces on the one on the left. So that's your four sprues, or your four frets of PE. And then we have just three more, well, four more bags of little stuff. We have just this, some little pieces, I guess, stuff that was needed that wasn't on a sprue. And parts of the superstructure, building the island, more island parts. Um, very well molded on the sides, guys. Very well molded on the sides. I still probably gonna replace those doors. Well, I don't have a kit for that. I'm just gonna replace them with the Affinity Models miscellaneous doors. There's not a lot of doors on this, so replace those in the hatches. I also have some Alliance Model Work stuff that I'm going to use for the hatches. So let's just see if we can. Just check out real quick how much. Let's see, well, we got the color call outs here. Full color sheet here. Not full size, of course. But you can see all the colors, and it's got all the the different mo different colors from different companies. Of course, Mr. Hobby, they have all of them, and then they have the color call outs for other, other companies. So, and. Construction wise, I'll get into this with the build plan, how I plan to build it with the different aftermarket parts. It's 
the, it's 39 pages. Um, looks like the gun's going on at the end. Um, uh, 40 pages if you want to count putting on the railing and the planes and the base. So 40 pages, 59 steps maybe? I don't know, it's, it's crossed off on the top, so 59 steps. Yeah, step 57, 50, uh, 59 steps, so not too bad. So I don't want this video to be super duper long, so I'm going to go ahead and put the links up. You can visit me on social media. I have a new camera that I'm going to be trying to post decent pictures of the daily builds uh, on Instagram, what's on the bench, and how the progress is going. The LST is still being built. When that is done, a new project will come on the table. And in North Carolina, that's going to be a longer, slower build. There will still be updates for that. But the main build right now will be the Alaska. And we'll mix in some of the other stuff. Still do some tanks here and there when I get bored of ships. But this is it. We're going to do this in this, the next six months. is going to be season one and every video is going to be an episode following that not not YouTube's episodes but my episode just for labeling all the video clips and being able to put everything together for my editing software and the new stuff that I am I am working on but you can also visit me on Patreon to support the channel and help uh, the channel grow the more support I get, the more videos I can make, and the more sh projects I can have at one time. Um, so, if you want to help there, I'm going to start doing um, photos and tool reviews on Patreon. Uh, they'll be uh, for everybody at first, but once I get some supporters, some more supporters, I will do exclusive only content for the Patreon members, live streams. Um, I have a couple builds that I only want to build on live streams and that's something I could offer to Patreons if you guys are interested in that. But that's going to wrap it up for this video guys. I hope you enjoy your New Year's Day. Hope you guys have a good time and I hope you guys stay tuned for all that is upcoming. I'm hoping to start this kit today. I'm not filming this on the first. I'm filming it a couple days early so I can get some progress done so I can hopefully get another video out this week. So guys, thank you so much. Thank you for your support. And I hope you guys have a fantastic 2020. And I hope we can do some great things 